Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Tag us in your makes. We love to see what you're making. We're very sociable. Follow us to stay up to date with everything new at Tonic Studios. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Stay up to date with Tonic Studios by subscribing to our mailing list. Never miss a video. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon. Have you got a question for us crafters? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the Tonic Craft Kit and get 10% off every order. Every order. Have you got a big order? Pay in instalments using ClearPay, ShopPay and PayPal. Need to know when your favourite products are in stock? Click notify me when available and we let you know. Can't wait to get a die set? Click notify me when available, we'll let you know. Visit the Tonic Studios craft room for inspiration, information and tutorials all in one place. Looking for a freshly launched product? Head to the new launches tab on the Tonic Studios website. Welcome to Tonic Studios. It is March Madness and we are having a whale of a time. We really are. And the week is only getting better from Monday where we had the beautiful fairy toadstools. Yesterday we had the... Uh, ice cream van. Ice cream van, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Ice cream van. Yeah, it the has gone crazy. <laughs> yeah. So let's have a look who we have got. We have got Sherry. Hello Sherry, we've got Jingle Puff, I love that, Jiggly Puff, love nice. it, yeah, we have got Lorraine here, we've got a Facebook user, don't know who, who you are, but whoever smiley face is, hello, we've got um, Bella from Germany, oh, oh I guess I have to do another headphone warning, mm, yeah, Absolutely. We have got Nicole from Perth, Western Australia. Hello. Good evening, Nicole. Welcome on in. We've got Crash, um, Crash Tester Bob. That's a mouthful, isn't it? That's Les. Is it? Mm -hmm. We've got Blue Moon here. We've got Jill. I'm trying to check out my basket, but it's not, but the, my basket is showing the discount, but PayPal is charging full. Uh-oh. Um, just put it through and let the US know and they'll refund you back the difference. Yeah, you can get that. We have got Carolyn from Jamaica. Like it. There's so many of you here. It really is. Now, where do I put my memories? Miss he Heffalump says. I wonder why. Hi, Emma. Yeah, we've got Janelle. 
Tina, there's just so many of you on, on here. Crafty Ladybug. Oh, don't don't keep doing that because you'll refresh it. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mandy, hello, hello, dear tonic members and happy craft crafting. There's just so many of you on, on there. Absolutely amazing balls. Hi Josh. There's just crazy, crazy amount of people. Hi Mo, you alright, sweetheart? Oh, is, is, is it temperamental? A little bit, a little bit. You a have little to just bit be, temperamental. You have to be kind to this like you have to be kind to your glue. We've had a morning of being kind to our glue, haven't we? We, we have had a big morning being kind to our glue. We've got Joe Goodchild, Tracy Kershaw. Oh, I like that, having a sneaky look in from the office while at work. Nice. Why not? Yeah. But there's so many of you on there. Now, what have we got launching today, Miss? I don't know. What are we launching today, Jode? Well, I think... I point one. Oh, it smells good. It smells so, so good. Here we go. You go into, in, into your camera mode because for the first time, we have got 8 by 8s and we've got the 12 by 12s as well. Yeah. Which do you want to see first? Do you want to see the 12 by 12 full patterns and then the companion? Or do you want to see the 8 by 8 first? Whatever you feel you want to do. Let's do the full patterns first. Can I have a sniff first? Go on then. I'll allow it. It smells so good. It does. It really does. I could, oh. I could bottle the smell it's and have like... it as room fragrance. <laughs> Bits of confetti. <laughs> um, anyway, right. This is Whimsy Meadow. So this is our new patterned paper pad. I think this is the best. The best soap set so far in the paper pads. I love the colour combos. The colours in this are stunning. The be Absolutely beautiful. stunning. So, Whimsy Meadow. This is 200 GSM cardstock. You're getting two each of nine double-sided designs. This is the 12 by 12 size. So on the back of your front page, as always, you have your tags and these coordinate with your Beautiful Moments tag dies. Yes. Beautiful so. Moments, yes. Yes. Yes? It is. Okay. So on with the patterns then. So you can see we've got lovely florals in here. You've got some nice kind of in the background ones as well. Hopefully you're seeing as well. I mean, on, on camera here, that looks quite dark. But trust me when I say it's more of denim blue. Yeah, this is kind of along the lines of maybe like our peer view. Yes. That kind of navy. You've got some lovely kind of peachy pinks in here. We've got some oranges. We've got a little bit of green. There's some beautiful colours in there. So you're going to be able to put this with a lot of different things. The reverse of that then is a slightly less busy pattern. Again, you've still got these nice kind of background flowers going on in that one. Next sheet then, so I think this is the same but with the pink background. And then the reverse of that one. And I have to say, this inks up like an absolute dream. Mm -hmm. It really does. Get your vintage photo on it, it looks absolutely amazing. This is then the same paper with your grey background. So this is very much um, a misty grey in the background of this. Um, the pink is very much a blossom pink. So that's where we're going for these. And then there's the reverse of that one. Do you know what I like as well? To have grey patterned grey, paper. I know. It's a really, really nice option. This is your really big pattern then. So we've got this lovely little bird set up in here. There's a couple down here too. But if you don't like birds, it's fine. You can just... We'll cover those for you. Because I know some people are averse to... Yeah, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't particularly like birds. But in this paper collection, I think it's beautiful. I think it really warrants having the birds mm -hmm. in this one. You've got some beautiful flowers in here. You've got these lovely big roses. This is almost like a, a ranunculus, or almost like a peony, maybe, in the oh, middle of here. Ranunculus. Ranunculus. Oh. No, I've not heard of them. No, I've not heard of one of them. And this lovely, maybe like a hydrangea up here. But again, you've got these lovely oranges, as well as all the pinks. Julie's saying, I love birds. Good. Well, this is you're the one gonna, for, for a few, then. enjoy this, then. Yeah, exactly. There's the reverse of that. So again, you've got these nice kind of faded flowers in the background as well, which I actually really like. I think that's a very nice touch. The thing that I like about these paper pads is you've got bold on one side. Yes. And then on the other side, it's quite a subtle design. So depending on, on the size of your project, you can still get those beautiful fl florals in the same colourways, but depending on what size project it is. Exactly. 
This is your grey version of that sheet then, and hopefully you can just see that subtle stripe going through the background as well, which I really Julie's like. ordered four. Oh, good on you, Julie. Definitely. So we should actually put a pattern paper warning. Absolutely. We always sell out of this. Whenever we launch new pattern paper, it goes. It just yep. flies. So if you want it, chuck it in the basket and check out now. Um, there's the reverse of your grey one in that pattern. So if, if you're wanting the 12, 12 by 12, the 12 by 12 is going to be $12.99 or £12.99 here in the UK. I'm missing my pink sheet for that one, so I'm just going to bring it up from underneath. Obviously, we have opened this pack already. Here is the pink version of that, so again, you've got that nice subtle stripe in the background and the reverse. This one then, oh, mm. That navy it's with that peachy, it? it's really pretty. And again, if you're not a fan of a butterfly, you know, you've still got a lot of a sheet that you can use, if you don't like. Now, if you're tempted with these, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that. Mm hmm Nice. So imagine, you know, a card front or a memory book front, if that was something that you were looking at making. You know, you've got a nice piece, the nice open area where you put Absolutely. your sentiment or your photo. I mean, that could be a scrapbook page. You could, quite easily. You know, a nice photograph in the middle, add a couple of 3D flowers around it. Gorgeous. Now, beautiful. if you're tempted with the 12 by 12, as I say, this here in the U UK and the US is $12 or £12.99. But there's also the 8x8 pad, all right? Now, you can purchase them as a bundle. You can get the 12x12 and the 8x8 together for $19.99 or £19.99, okay? So just think about that because that's going to save you, what, that's going to save you another fiver. Yeah. I don't know, that's a lot of maths for me at this time of day. So, yeah, probably it is. Well, if it's, if it's twelve ninety nine and twelve ninety nine, dollars so that's 24 that's 25 If yeah, you're buying that, for, so you're saving another £5. That maths. Yeah. <laughs> I love this colourway, the grey with the peach. Yes. Very, very pretty. This is kind of leaning towards our apricot. Yes, along it is. that way, or um, bubblegum. Bubblegum. Yes, indeed. And again, you've got that lovely oh, corner. It's, oh, I love the grey. I know, the grey is really There's something pretty. about grey and pink, and you know I'm not a pink girl. Is that what I want? But there's something about grey and pink that they complement each other so well. There you go. So that is your nine designs it is yes that is the other thing i'm going to point out as well because we we forget this on your cover you've got all of these nice pieces as well if you're not using your tags don't forget you've got these and this huge chunk up here as well <laughs> miss miss heffalum says all, all i can see is gail sniffing the screen for a paper pad addiction <laughs> <laughs> well oh, I'm facebook user i promised myself no more after the last two buying days that didn't last us long <laughs> sorry not sorry okay then here we go this is um shall i say the first of our eight by eight yes let's say that. yes the first of our eight by eight pads this one then is shabby meadow so what we've done is we've taken all of the glory from whimsy meadow and we've given it a little bit of a, a shabby uh chic kind of feel same 200 gsm card stock this time you're getting 36 sheets so you're getting three each of 12 double-sided designs. Yeah. You still have your tags on the back as well. So lots of beautiful options in there for you. Very, very pretty. And then we move on. So hopefully you can see now we've got some like distressed bits around the edge. There's a little bit of text coming up in this corner. Still the same florals that you've seen, the same colours. So this is going to work really nicely alongside it. I like you, like you, like. Yep indeed a little bit of like a paint splatter through that one as well let me uh, not put these together <laughs> there's your pink version of that sheet it's nice to have the same design but yet with that twist so it does actually stand out from the main if you know what I mean, if, you, if you're doing the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 together. You will notice that the imagery has been shrunk as well. Yeah. So if you're more of a card maker, your 8 by 8 is going to be perfect. You've yeah. got a smaller scale on here. I mean, obviously, you can still use your 12 by 12 absolutely. for cards. If you want a nice, big, yeah. you know, feature floral, absolutely. Yeah, Grab because one of those. If, you, if you take, just 
take the 12 by 12, so that's your 12, your 12 by 12, mm -hmm. and that there's your 8 by 8. So they still work perfectly together. So you could have that as your back page for your memory book, and that as your mat and less. Absolutely. They still work perfect together. Perfectly, perfectly. There's your grey one of that with your lovely text. And We've your got a lot sort of, of paper sniffers about. <laughs> we it's do. It's a hobby. It's a hobby amongst us all. I'm yeah, Gail. Sure. Gail says, Emma, I can actually smell the pads from uh, from here. I won't tell you how many I ordered. Yeah. Oh, she's stocking the Texas warehouse. Well done, Gail. Uh, we it. applaud your efforts on that one. This one I absolutely love. So the same imagery again as your 12 by 12, but made more shabby. You've got lots of distress coming in on this. It looks like some of the petals are kind of disintegrating to the side. Very, very pretty. And then you've got this kind of texture coming in on the side as well. I really like it, that one. It modernizes them a bit. It does. And there's the same as this one then has your subtle stripe in the background. And there's your kind of distress in the corners and the same again on the grey. I think my favourite sheet might be coming up and look at this. So you've got this beautiful scalloped edge added on here. What a nice card front. It would, wouldn't it? Like that, nice little piece of that as a card. Absolutely. I'd be taking my craft knife and I'd be coming round the scallop with my craft knife, mm -hmm. sticking that on the back page, mm -hmm. shortening my front of my yep. card, putting that on the front of the card so when you open it up, that's, that's on, the on the inside. You could even cut your card blank yep. to that too, so you, you literally have that. Absolutely. That'd be lovely. Beautiful. But also makes a nice book front. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it does. Just in case you've got you know memory book dies to play Absol with. Absolutely. On the back then you've got that nice corner one with some just some text in the middle. I think oh, you're gonna. It's lucky you've got three of each of these. Is all I'm gonna say. Because which, <laughs> which side would you choose out of those two? I don't know. There is your pink version as well, and again in the grey. This one is Mo, Mo's too. husband says we need to start up a group called PSA. The P, the paper sniffers anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, there's no anonymity here. We're all, you know, proud card carrying absolutely, paper absolutely. sniffers. Yeah, I love this flower. This is kind of, it's a bit more along our maroon red. Yes, which again works really nicely with the rest of the colours in this paper. And then this one, you've kind of got different options in the background. You can just cut this into strips. It's nice. Or if you like the blue and the grey together, you cut that bit. If you like the blue and the pink together, you cut that bit. If you like the pink and the grey. So you've got options to cut mm. that up. Turn it back around. I actually have a um, parchment stencil, a metal parchment stencil, that is exactly the same as that. I could be doing all that through through that, but it'd look funky, look real. Really would. There again in the pink, so again with all that lovely texture, and then your stripes on the back. Laurie um, has just come on from Ve Vegas. Can you tell me if the papers are photo safe? Ooh. Acid and lignin free. There we go. So the backs of these are slightly different, these three. <laughs> Shilpa says, shh. I'm a sucker for a pretty, pretty paper bag. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell. That is the, this is the grey one. The background or the back side of these papers are slightly different. So this one you've got those nice big peachy flowers. This one you've got that huge maroon flower in the centre. Blue, Blue Moon says, what does it say about me when I can name the cardstock names that would pair with this new paper pad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. We need all the help we get. Am I back to the beginning? I've yes, I've lost you, track. Start, you started with that there one. There we go. Perfect. So those are our two new paper pads. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah, so remember the large one, the 12 by 12, is $12.99 or $12.99. The small one is $12.99 or £12. But you can get the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 together for £19.99 or dollars, which Do I that. think is crazy. Mm -hmm. Because it basically means you're saving a fiver, doesn't it? So you're basically paying £7.99 for either your 12 by 12 or, yeah. which is absolutely su superb. Brilliant. But to go alongside that... Because, I mean, what do you do with your pattern paper? I don't know. And um, because it's March Madness, what do we always have to have? It's got to be done. 
It's got to be done. So here we go. Our new memory book for March Madness. This is Remember When We Dance. Now remember at the top of the hour when I said the week is getting better and better mm -hmm. and better. The memory books are getting better and better and better. Oh, they are. This is a cracker. So just highlighting here, this is a base and spine and decoration set. It is. It's all in one. Don't need anything extra. No. But you're going to want extra when it's You are. Honest. So double A4 die set. Look at this. There is not a single bit of this uh, acetate that has any space left on it for any more dies. There is no more room. The, absolutely not. It's chocker block. It is absolutely chocker. So first of all, let me just bring in this amazing sentiment. Remember when, and I'm pretty sure you are going to be using this over and over and over and absolutely. over again. Absolutely. Especially if you're going to do like birthday cards, um, you know, like 21st birthday yes. cards. So you can have the picture of like the baby boy when he's just been born versus graduation. Mm -hmm. or really nice. Love that. We've got lots of little sentiments to go with it then. So we have, um, we, he, I'm sure I've got a she somewhere else. Oh, there it is, she, um, they. Jo, jo says she's bought the memory book with the two pa paper pads. To me, it seems as if though the paper pads were, were free. But the savings I'm that, guessing with that the she's got. And save. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And your TCK, because don't forget you've got that too. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, what did I say? Uh, we, he, she, they um, met kissed, smiled, danced, or danced, depending on which side of the north-south divide If you're you posh or not. Um, then you've got up here a divorce that says, for the very first time, which I love. Kissed, danced, smiled. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got, we've got a padlock. Go see. Nice. A little working padlock as well. And this one says a trove of dreams debossed around that. This one kind of has like a like a Scandi kind of folk art feel. Absolutely it does. Now Lillian's made a really good point. These are really squashed onto these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would highly recommend that you do have two double-sided magnet sheets yes. for this, yeah? Because once these come off of these, the, these sheets, you're not going them back on. You, you're not. It's Take impossible. Take a photo. It's, yeah. a good, it's a good it idea. Is. Yeah. But literally, just, just have two pouches for your dies. And this one is, I mean, there's a lot of metal in here, so it's not light. So I would say definitely you're, you're not going to want to double back the, the magnet this time. Two separate magnets is a good idea. The other thing that is different about this, you may notice on the largest size here, I can't actually get all of it onto Sylvia it. says I can see a space. You can put a full stop in there. <laughs> Only just. Let me turn it this way. So you will notice on the largest die that we have here, we don't have our normal open edge like we would. Ooh. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Ooh, was that mm. a mistake? Absolutely not. So this is going to make a box for your memory book. And it's kind of like a, a convertible box. It is. It is convertible. You can just make a lovely box to present your memory book mm -hmm. or to keep it safe. Yep. But we can also build the book into the box. You can add your spine to the side of the box and make it just fold out from the side. And many of your other memory books fit inside the box as well. Yes, they do. Um, right, let's have a quick rundown then of the rest of the stuff that we have in here. Very quickly. Love the paper clips. Yep, we've got paper clips. There's a little birdie one. Love yep. the little heart. Nice cor corners, photo corners in there. And these also are for the box. No yep. Nice deboss on that. Um, we've got two different ways of closing this. I, this is so big, I literally have to keep moving this down. Um, so we've got this piece here, which is going to make a closure for you. And you'll notice that we have two different options for which way round you want the closure to be. Can I demonstrate? Let me see. So on this side. Janelle's asking, does die storage come with it? No. Um, yes. yes. Uh, does yes. it? Yeah, magnetic it's sheet it's and a, the wallets to yep, fit in your madness. die storage. Every single One die or set. two? One. One. Yes. Every die set we release this week. Wow. Directly from us comes with storage. I don't know if I can show this, maybe better on camera too, Cam, if I do it that way. So you can see I've got my ribbon going round the box. Ooh, there it is here. So this time I've got the slit in my closure going top to bottom. Um, but if you wanted it just to close this way, you could have it the other way around. So you've got a die so you can reverse that if you need to. 
What are you looking at? Janelle says it looks like a, a Western belt bottle to me. Or this. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, the, 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 the dye itself. Oh, that, that. Got, got it. That, yes. Absolutely it does, yeah. Um, what else have we got? We've got pull tabs, of course. We've always got pull tabs. Um, lovely decoration, both for the box and for your memory book as well. There's a couple of other little things I've only just remembered are in here, so I'm going to bring back in my uh, lovely friend, Mammy Allison's book here. You've got this lovely little pocket that you beautiful. can put a little photograph into. So you've got both the pocket itself and also the layer. Down here, you can't quite see it. Down here, um, to fill that as well. And then the last piece on here that is a little bit different, I'm gonna see if I can find all the dies for it. You've got this die here, that has a round bit at either end and then a very thin slot. And there's a longer version somewhere, can you see it? There. Yes, there he is, hide it next to your spine, which is there. And these are so you can cut a slit into your page to put a photo and put it back in. Very smarty pants, that, isn't it? Well, don't tell him, okay? <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. We never turn this, not the tonic way. No. With your little um, photo pocket as well, you can actually join them together and make like a little concertina nice. with them too. There's so much going on this. I think probably the best thing to do is to show you some of the books. Absolutely. You so we can see. Yes. Let's have a look at Alice then. Let me just get all Raggedy Ann says, I love the shape of this this, this book. I like like these because you oh. could use the it is art deco. Absolutely absolutely. Love the shape of the book. So many of you are commenting here. Absolutely brilliant. Girl math. Girl. <laughs> Both three sets of paper and the memory book. That yeah. is the perfect kind of girl math. Yes, absolutely. I mean I'm sure at least some of that was free in yeah. that case. I love how the lid or the sides hold on to this box. I think it's very clever. It is very clever. It is very clever. So let me show you. I've seen that there's a, a question of the how tall can the side walls be built up. Technically, I mean, if I bring in the side wall pieces, since I have some cut very handily over here, um, there's no reason why you can't double that up. Absolutely. Just stick one on top of each other. Yeah. So you could make it as deep as you, as you want. You are going to end up doubling these anyway um, because you're going to want glue tabs either end. Is that a bird on the paper clip? Let's have a look. Yes. Is that? It is. It's a little dicky bird. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there there you go. Is. Just in there. It's a little dicky bird. So, Mammy Annie's book in a box. You've got this lovely ribbon that goes all the way around the outside. I'm sorry. Where was my chorus? <laughs> Debbie's put outside hi, around the outside. Thank you very much. <laughs> Debbie's put hi, ladies. So excited. Went to order the card last night, but fell asleep. So popped back in in today and got a massive thirty five percent off. <laughs> <laughs> now that is the perfect kind of girl maths. Absolutely. Sleep on your purchase. I mean, I wouldn't recommend that all the time because sometimes things do go out of stock. But come back the next day and it's got a discount. Abs Love it. Absolutely. So that ribbon went all the way around. You can see I've got these little locks holding my box closed all the way around. So if you are giving this as a gift or you want it to be a keepsake, yeah. it's gonna keep it very safe and secure. So I'm going to uh, bust it open. I feel like there should be the crown jewels in here at this point or something. Right, so this is the book in a box. You can see this lovely, remember when on here, all these lovely flowers and leaves. And then, oh, okay. For photography purposes, these were taken out. So here is, if I bring it this way, I can actually demonstrate how those little slits in the page will work. That's very, very arty farty, that, isn't it? I like that. It's too clever. He is too I, clever. I, li I like that. I do like okay, that. I can't see the other one if I've done the first one. Let me, uh, oh, I need more hands. There we go. Done. So you can see we can put pockets on pages. You've got, you don't have to worry about using a craft knife anymore or anything like that. There's a die to do it for you. And there's that little birdie paper clip as well. Hopefully you can just see him in here. And then if I pull out the book, hopefully we can get this out. This is a very full book. We kind of went a bit um, 
ham on this one. A bit OTT. A bit OTT for packaging, yes, let's put it that way. Oh, I've lost a paper clip as well. Alrighty then, so here is our front page. Hopefully this is still in focus. Um, the very top that. of it, uh, the, of the page you're lifting is not, but the it's rest not. is. The rest is, okay. Here you can see our little concertina of our photos and that lovely padlock. If it is not in focus, if I pull it on this way a bit, there we go. You can see that here. That's um, a lovely padlock. It's another working one as well, so you can actually open and close it. Oh, you're it. joking me. No. Have you not played with this? You no, I haven't. I've been playing with other stuff. I don't know. What do you like? So, yeah, there's our, there's our little padlock click. It does open and close. So you can use this on the outside of the box as well if you want Unf to. Unfortunately, I have to go to Christ and Craft Me. It gets in my way in my crafting oh, it time. it really does. I know. Coming here gets in the way of mine as well, Conley. <laughs> I've got, I have a list of things I have to craft here. It's not like I get to pick and choose. <laughs> So, remember when we kissed Under Moonlight? I missed that one. Oh, there's another one. It says Under Moonlight. Um, and then a couple of these pages are blank. Hold on. What else? Ben's, Ben's favourite is the padlock. Oh, look, <laughs> at that, look at that paper, though. Like we said, that's going to make a beautiful layer all on its own. Dun, dun, dun. And then on our last page, I have a feeling Karen might have done this one. This is one of those um, craft room collaborations. Oh, right, okay. Where they take it in turns. They all like sort of take a page at a time. It's nothing like that. It's like people go on holiday and go, oh, I'm so sorry, I haven't been able to finish this. Can you just... Uh, I would try to be polite. Mm, mm, I wasn't. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> so far, she's, she's finished off one of Karen's cards, one of Alison's. She, you did Karen's yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that going on. But it's fine, we work as a team and we love each other dearly. They've done it for me too, so it's perfect. No shade has been thrown. Absolutely yeah. no shade, no, not so, at all. So Julie's saying, is there a coordinating solid card pack that matches the paper pad? No. But what we'll, what we'll do is we'll take the, after the hour, we'll go through the different colours in the paper pad and find you the corresponding I've got a couple Close. of them here, so I can start to give you a few of the colours. You may already have them in your stash. Um, just under here, this pink layer, this is our bubble gum, um, which you can see both under the grey and under the navy here. And then on this page, I've got tan under here, which goes really nice with this flower. I think it really brings that out. I call that one old man beige. Old man beige. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, here's our apricot. Like I said, it does go really nicely with this, as well, especially with this one with but all look, those big. But, but look at the papers. These are the eight by eights. Yeah. So the smaller pad is working perfectly on these pages because if you think if you're cutting those matte and layers, mm -hmm. you're not losing a lot of paper. You're not wasting a lot, are you? Exactly. This one, I'm going to say this is rose. I'm pretty sure this is rose pink around this one. Again, you're kind of pulling out these darker flowers. Uh, we've got some bright white around the pink in this one. We've got maroon red around here. And then I'm back to bubblegum on here. It's lovely, isn't it? It is very pretty. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a little uh, flippy flappy going on here that has... Flippy flappy flap flip. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, let me, let me just re-flip flap it. There we go. It's technical, that term. Very technical, very technical. Isn't it pretty? Really, really they met, pretty. They smile. Aww. Cute. They met, they left. He's quite a romantic, really, isn't he? This is, um, obviously, as I'm sure you all know by now, Mark designs our memory books for us. And like, for him to put in things like that, he's a bit of a romantic at heart. He doesn't he, he don't smile much these days. Oh, I don't know. Bless his little heart. We're just a bit busy, that's all it is. <laughs> right, okay, so that is Mammy Ali's Book in a Box. I'm going to show you how to put this together. Yes. She says very confidently, having never done it. <laughs> I like it how you warned them. Earlier on, she said, I'm about to make a right mess of this, and I'm sat there laughing, saying, I've never touched it, so I don't know. Yeah, Jodie's going to be of absolutely no help to me whatsoever. Yeah, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I love the fact that. Because it comes with the box, you can do so many different things with it. With it, I mean, just pop, just put that there. I'm looking at that box there, okay, and I'm thinking outside the memory box, okay. So what I'm thinking is I could do the base as a box, i.e., a solid box. I could then put a centre divide mm -hmm. inside there. Then this lid, I could literally put a score line 
down that side and down that side so that I've got like an inch in the middle and I could glue that on, onto here so that when that folds on there I could have chocolates in that side got you. boiled sweets in that side so the sides had just come up mm -hmm. from either side as well so but looking at the size of this I'm, I'm going to quite confidently say that memory book one will fit in there memory book two will fit in there memory book three will fit in there the hexagon will definitely fit inside side there I, I'm confident to say that 99% of all your memory books will fit within this box design. Yep. It's brilliant. Love it. Okay, let's have a look at a couple more. We've got to have a look at Vicky's, of course. Let me... I'm just going to give that to you. You can send stroke that. Smell the papers. Smell the papers, Sniff. Yeah, exactly. So, Vicky has done this one for us. It was done for packaging. I'm pretty sure, yes, it is on there. So, let me just turn this so you can I love see... Vicky's box. The lovely little patterns that we have in here. This is what I'm saying about that kind of like Nordic folk art kind of feel yeah. going on. This is the woman that when we first did memory books, she's like, I've never made a memory book before. I don't know where to start. Mm. And now she's the memory book queen. Oh, she is. She absolutely is. So I've got my little padlock on the side holding this one closed. And you can see this time it's going the other way. The little love it. slot. Absolutely love it. Okay. Da, 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 da. And we are we a book and no, we're a separate book. We're a separate book, so I can. Fake this. This is beautiful, sweetheart. It is. Look at it. Okay. And this is quite a sizable book that you've got. Just, just, just listen to that. Oh, it's sturdy. That it is, really is. That is solid. Mhm. Mm Absolutely solid. Love it. It is a very solid box, and the way that it is built. She says, again, confidently, um, there are many layers to it, so it is going to end up being a very solid gift box. So even if you mm. don't want to put a memory book in it, if you want to use it for a different type of gift, yeah. it's going to be perfect. So let's have a flick through this book here. We've got lovely little pockets. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. It does something. It does something. What does it do, Vic? What am I doing? There it is. Oh, <laughs> there's a magnet. Hannah says that was a satisfying clunk. It was. I yeah. totally agree. Yeah, it really, really is. Beautiful little... Sue, Sue says, I, I've realised I should have bought more paper pads. <laughs> I'm going to an album wor workshop, Sue. Bless her. Oh, I'm sure there'll be some left, hopefully. We've got... I love this idea as well. So Vicky's made this into a little pocket. Oh, magnets. Magnets everywhere. You know we love them. Julie magnets. says the box would be fan fantastic for an afternoon tea picnic box. Brilliant. <gasps> Sandwiches yes. on one side, scones on the other side. Brilliant. Who who designed the memory book? Mark. Yep, always Mark. Mm. So far, always Mark. Memory books are the one thing that's not my kryptonite. Oh, neither will change your mind. Absolutely. So, a lovely acetate window in there for a photo mat. We've got another little magnet, flippy flappy going on here. And can I just, ah, magnet, love it. We've got a padlock in here, so you can use your padlock and your closing pieces inside the book as well. Julie says, when you're checking out, don't forget to put your magnets in your baskets as well. Oh yeah, you're gonna need magnets. If you're making memory books, that's a must. So I love that we've got little locking pages inside as well. Hold on, let me just put my padlock back in there so I don't lose it. There's one of those little... Oh, a comment should have, should have read that it's not her crew 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 tonight. Uh, where was it gone? That buying memory books is. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely little flippy flappy inner pocket in there. Oh. Hi, Vic. Just shout if I'm doing it wrong, okay, Vic? I can. There's magnets involved in this. How many? Oh no, there we go. Still more. <laughs> I love magnets. The good art. So childish. Just look at this. It's so cute, isn't it? That is little adorable. Pocket. And this one is actually double-sided as well. So Vicky's done two of those, put them back to back. Beautiful. I love these these padlocks though. A trove of dreams. So, oh, the, where does he get that from, honestly? I love the padlocks. You can be using those on so many mm -hmm. different things. Absolutely I love the beautiful. paper clip as well. So if you're not a fan of the birds, like I yeah. said, you do have another option. We've got that lovely little Scandi heart going on. And this one is a whole 
little separate book on its own. All ribbon shot look. Love it. Absolutely lo gorgeous. Love it. Beautiful oh, book. And what a gift. Mm -hmm. Really is a it's a beautiful gift. It's gorgeous one. fit. It's your best beautiful. one today, darling. Love it. Okay, who else has we got here? We have got I think there are what's was this one in the front? Oh, so I've got so this it's, one it's from Oh yeah, there's definitely something going on. Oh, hold on, that's a padlock for that one. So I've got another padlock on the side of this. Everyone's been definitely locking up their books this time. Absolutely. Keep them safe. I think it's so clever, that look. I'm trying to think what else we've done this on recently. So on the... Mm -mm -mm, what was the wardrobe called, Cam? Uh, delightful Dresser. Yes. We had a little working padlock on that too. Mm -hmm. Is it the same as the armoire? Exactly, that's the one. The something armoire. What was it called? Elegant. Elegant uh, armoire. Is that the one you want? Is that yes, the one you want? About? I think that is the one. It is Regina. It is the same. It's bigger. This is much bigger than the one from the Elegant armoire. To give you a indication of size. When Julie makes them for fundraising auctions. Oh, that's that's lovely. a lovely thing to do, Julie. So this padlock is about two inches tall when closed and it's just over an inch wide. So it is significantly larger than the armoire one. Mm. And then, oh, I love this paper. Look, so um, this was Shabney's, wasn't it? I love that she's used these corners. They're very decorate. pretty, aren't they? They're yeah. like sergeant stripes. Yes, they are. Mm. If you've got someone, is it passing out? Is that what you do when you yeah. graduate? From yeah. Military Academy places. I'm, so, I'm, so, oh, I'm sorry, I've got to point it out because there's a die and a die. Mm -hmm. There's a shape and a shape. But when you've got a die that does embossing like that all the way, it's I beautiful. mean, that is classy. That is beautiful. I love the fact that the pull tab is the same shape as our pages too. That emboss is absolutely delightful all the way around, uh, around that. Classy. Bit like Very me, pretty. not. So this is our sea salt green that Shabney's is using here. I actually think that works quite nicely with this too. Picks up the green in the paper in here as well. Possibly. There's another one for you. Oh, I love this. She smiled. Beautiful. Another little card on here. Under the moonlight. Under, under, moonlight. No, there. Two little pull-outs in here, or oh, a spy magnet. Absolutely, we like a good magnet. Yeah, we do. So yeah, this is sea salt and peer view together, which I think. Hannah says, I love memory books, but can't mentally translate it to having photos because the ones I see never have them. Me too. I, I find it so hard to put a photo in 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 there. I've got shelves and shelves full of them. There's that lovely little mini photo pocket as well. Another little tab on here. Oh, and another little opening bit on there. Beautiful book, Shabney. Thank you very much for that one. Pop that padlock back in there. I have a feeling this is our Navy Dazzle pearlescent cardstock as well. Um, so that one definitely works well with the papers. Sure, hubby, you can lock your, your, your credit card up. Let me make you a padlock. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually probably oh, exactly the right size. I love that. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, let's have a look. I've got a nice little one down here. Beautiful ribbon bound book. Who's this one from? This one is from Cheryl. So she's made us a little ribbon bound book. I love this. And she's gone with black behind the papers, which I think is another nice option as well. Um, so we've got black and... Oh, look at the, 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 the first page. Look at that. Oh. There you go. You don't what? need photos. <laughs> what a way, a way of using those odd bits of cardstock up. Mm -hmm. That looks amazeballs, it really does. Now if you're loving this collection, this is called Remember When We Danced, okay? So it's a book, it's a box, it's so much more, and this is actually $59.99 or pound, okay? Remember to put your paper pads in as, as well. Absolutely stunning, they're, they're gorgeous, they really are. And don't forget you've got all those spend and save discounts mm -hmm. as well, which is absolutely cracking into it really is oh, look, one of those little tags from the 12 by 12 or the 8 by 8 right so mm, she's, she's right I've got I've got I've got my shopping head on okay so if I was to buy the actual um, memory book mm -hmm. let's round it up to 60 pound 
I were to buy the bundle of the 8x8 and the 12x12, 12 12, that would be £80, yeah? I just, I want to save another 20% on top of that. Nice. I mean, you're... you're I mean, gonna... that is amazeballs. Check some magnets in there, you'll just go just ticking yeah, over that. absolutely. And then, of course, if you're a Tonic Craft Kit subscriber, another 10% off as well. Wow. I know. Girl maths. It's basically free. You might as well have it. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just crazy, in not it? Oh, you're very welcome, Cheryl. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful book, and I love the black with the paper. I think that works really nicely. It makes it much more striking, I think. You can soften it with softer colours or put it with black, and it makes it... gives it a real punch. She, she's still massing over here. The maths is strong. Or not. I'm just I'm just working out what I can stick in my in my basket. So all of it. So we could have the book for sixty. I could have two bundles there, mm -hmm. which would and a set of magnets. So just top me over the hundred, one point one ten. So I'd get twenty five percent off of that, which would take it down to seventy five pound. And then and then if for a TCK, I'd get another seven pound fifty off of that. But since you've saved that £25, you might as well add more to get to the, the £25, right? So if you're planning on spending 100 anyway, once you've had your discount, put it back up to 100 right? Wow. <laughs> Girl maths. That's I how that works. I like it. Right. And basically half your basket's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going That's to the way to shop. Grab for this one. So this is from um, Ruth. Um, she's going to be doing a video for this, so you can have a look. But she's actually made the box thinner. Yep. Absolutely. Which I am very impressed by. I'd chocolate love to box. Yes. If, if you are a chocolate maker, you know, lovely truffles and everything else, if you want to test her, you know where we are. <laughs> but this would make a really, really nice chocolate box. Yeah, it's gorgeous for chocolates, isn't it? You could put different ones in there, even use it for different nuts. Yes. Scarf, nice box for <gasps> a scarf for cri cri Christmas, yeah. nice for socks, all that. This is a palestine card. I want to say this is blushing pink. Is that right? Um, yes, that's the name of it. Yeah. Yes. Mo, Mo, Mo says, just stick your glue in your basket to take you over. There we go. I'm loving Neva's kind as well. The Welsh accents are uh, more like a trigger for me. Anytime I hear them, I abandon my budget and whip out my credit card. <laughs> oh, you can't blame me then. I don't have a Welsh accent. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. And if you spend over $75 in the US, it ships free. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, there we go. These are the wow. kinds of you know, bits of information we so need. So then you're saving a tenner. So you're saving another te yeah. $10 off. OMG. Nice. I like that girl. Another place to hide my chocolates from my daughter. Yeah. I mean, don't say that too loud. She might hear. Oh, my days. I didn't need, need or think I needed this, but oh, yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to bring this one in. So, moving away from the paper, just in case it's not your bag, you don't have to use the paper with it too. Um, so, I've also done little photos on the front. I think those photo frames are beautiful. There is also a uh, very satisfying click under there as well. Um, so, lovely. So, you could just have big photos in here. Absolutely. You don't have to have all I the love, I stuff. love your rings. Thank you. Really like we have rings. multiple sizes of rings in the office so that we can make whatever size book we need. Absolutely, I actually did one a oh, about six year, years ago. There was a cheat to a ring. I'll dig it out and show you. But it was done with um, jumbo beads Ooh. and ribbons, and you got the same sort of look spacing as a ring, but with really cheap beads. I like it. I shall dig it out. You know, I can't remember what I put in this. I made this so long ago. <laughs> It's like, no, nah, I've forgotten that now. So I just did a, literally a photo book, very simple, except for this bit that Mark photographed. Here's, here's a, you know, behind the scenes for you. When we don't have a lot of time, uh, we might only decorate one or two pages. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest might just look like this. But we've got cards made with mm -hmm. them as well. So things like easel cards, you can see how beautiful the easel cards come out. They look absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. They look brilliant, doesn't it? Don't they? I think this is the one that goes into that box, actually. It said it had an easel card with it. So. Do you know something? I think like that, take the papers off. I think it's a very masculine shape. Yes. 
I think it's quite nice because it does quite quite look like you know when you're looking at Ed Coater arms where they it's like a, they've won the the it's like a wrestling cricket. belt yeah yes <laughs> there you I go to think if of you uh, if you need a uh, if you have a wrestler or a, an MMA fighter or anything yeah. in your life and you need uh, congratulations card for them number one dad. Yes. Yeah, you could put loads in, in there. I'd like to see you make this book. Um, if we have time to make a memory book on video. This is again. like Christmas in March and I'm the Santa for myself. Oh, I like that. Yes. Treat yourself. What else where, you where, where can you find the rings, Leo? Amazon. Generally, yeah. Th they're all over. Other art. shops are no longer available. Um, this is another lovely card from Show, just using that beautiful paper and a couple of elements from the book as well. So yeah, fussy cut your paper. Yeah, pretty. If you have an MMA fighter in your life. I mean, you might do. Why not? Some people do. You know, we like to cater for everyone. I'm looking so pink today. It is, it is so dead. warm in here. It, it, it is hot in here. And I'm, I'm thankful this radiator's off, because earlier it was like being on Bermuda Beach. I'm just, all I can see is my glasses, my lipstick, and two pink jeans. <laughs> That's it. My hair is not as pink as my face is anymore. This is another card from Ruth. Again, just using that beautiful paper. You can see how this is going to make a really quick card for you as well. If you need quick Gorgeous. cards in your life. Gorgeous. So shall we put... I don't think we need to see how this goes together. Let's <laughs> put Leo to the test. Okay, right. Come on, Leo. Let's put you to the test for me. So, Mammy Ali has made me a stunt box that I can refer to if I get stuck at any point. And this is definitely sitting here because I'm going to get stuck. Um, yes. Okay. I don't think you are. Yeah, we'll see. I, I have never made this. I'm just gonna start with that. I have never made the box. I've put a book together, but not the box. This is easy. Sure. <coughs> Come on. So these we can are do your this. side panels. And you're going to need two of these for each side if you're making this as uh, the boxes we're showing you today because you're going to want to double them up so that you have a glue tab top and bottom. If you just want a simple box, you don't have to do that. Okay, I also have, let me see, what have I got here? So many bases. Lot, wow, okay. I'm guessing I'm doubling some of these up. We are. One, two, I've got six bases. That seems like a lot. No, because you're going to need... Um, Two for the bottom, two to cut your aperture, and two for your top. Uh-huh. <laughs> and more for this. Yeah, okay. So, let's fold this. This is going to go that way. That's going to go that way. That one's going to come that way. That one's going to go that way. Does that look about right? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. So, one of them, one of them, one of them. Fold those tabs like so. I've also got a couple of these pieces. Why are these different? Is that where's my stunt box? They're the sides. So one of them goes for the, so that the goes, hingy one. That goes on that side. And this is my hingy one with the bigger tab. Yep. Okay, makes sense. Kind of. Let's go. Let's get sticky. Really? Yeah. Why? 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 Send Fedagina a bit of warmth here. Oh my goodness. It is, I, I could combust at this point. Seriously, it is so hot in, in, <laughs> in here. It's like one of those, you know, when you get really hot and you just come home from work and take your bra off. It's one of those hotness in here. We won't be doing that today. Though. This is not no. clinic after dark. No. That's not happening. Right, I am going to probably not do this right, but this is how I would do this. I would put these all together first and then press my base in. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, go for it. And this is all been cut with our smooth white card, so our 300 GSM. Because we want this to last for a long time. Absolutely, we do. It's a keepsake. It's a treasure that you're going to uh, look after. Uh, and today it could just be a storage box for yourselves as well. You know, Stick your nouveaux in, in there, stick your spray bottles. Fantastic for your sponges. Mm. Yeah, they drive me mad, storing sponges. Oh, I know, because they just bounce out of everything, don't they? I, I hate them, yeah. 
Having the ability to make a box for your memory book just elevates the whole project. Totally agree, Suzanne. Totally agree. Memory books are Jodie's jam. Of course he's easy. Jodie is a memory book expert. I love to watch you ladies work. You're the best in the business. Aww, thank this you. This includes Ali and Karen. Sending big hugs to Karen's daughter as well. Oh, I know. You oh, know, she's yeah. not she's not very well, so Karen's at home looking after her, bless her. Hope you're feeling better soon, Amelia. Okay. Nicole says, I've got to stop making large pom-poms. I'm going to end up with RSI, a really stupid injury from trying, trying to cut with not a sharp knife. Not enough scissors. Mm. Oh, so we had literally hail as we were going live today. I was running down to the studio because I may have been slightly late. And yes, there was just hail. Well, I, I, I'm in Wales. This I mean, is I, true. I, I cannot come to, to Wales without rain or snow or fog. It's never sunny. Never. Well, apparently it's going to snow for North Wales. Because me and Eva are looking to go up uh, this weekend to go see her family. And to check the weather. And it's saying snowing. Oh. Yeah. I hope not, but... I didn't want to glue that on. Don't glue that on. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. Doing a book in a box, aren't I? Can't glue that on. <laughs> Needs to fold. Right, okay. <coughs> See, first mistake down. Yeah, so now slide your base in. Yeah, I'm going to put this in. This is going to sit in here, so... Oh, there was going to be at least one, wasn't there? Let's yep. be honest. I'm going to start with this flat edge... I'm doing it back to front, so just bear with me, okay? I'm sure the rest of our DT, and I'm going to call out here Raquel. I'm sure she's done an amazing video showing you how to put a book in a box. That's going to be much better than my live demonstration, let's just put it that way. And probably Vicky's done one too. I'm not being funny, you're so busy at the minute, sweet. Um, we're literally working about seven months ahead at the, uh, the minute. So they're actually work. I'll tell you what they're probably working on. They're actually working on Christmas for next year. It's this year. See, this year. It's this year. It's this year. So and it's just like... It's last week. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. All the, there's glitter and drops and stencils and all sorts. Normally when Jodie comes to visit, we try and tidy up and make it so that there's actually like a desk for Jodie to work at. At the moment, there are just piles of stuff. I uh, came in to put the cards down and the stuff that you asked for and I was just staring at the room for it. I was like, and where do I put this stuff? Yeah, th there's just no room anywhere. It's just crazy. Yeah, it is um, mental at the moment. Right. I'm going so get your corner the corner. right in there. Exactly. I'm going to Bring your sides you down. down. And then we're just going to be kind to the glue. Love your glue. Love your glue. I love that the panels have actually got perforations on them as well. Really, really nice. Leo, why are you whispering? Because we can't really talk about it. Yeah, it's a secret. It's the worst kept secret in Tonic Towers, but it is a secret. Yeah. So none of you know that we're working on a lot of stuff for Christmas for this year, I think. <laughs> Could I come there this, this summer and help out? <laughs> Gail, if you can come over, there's always, um, I was going to say a desk for you. I mean, oh, as, it, no. as we've demonstrated, that's quite a lie. But yes, you would be more than welcome, Gail. Oh, that's a lovely column for Tina. I can put on any of Jodie's videos in the background and end up with a halfway decent project. Her voice inspired me to get it done. Oh, that's nice. I love My that. husband says my voice is irritating. <laughs> <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> Okay, one side is down. Oh, let's not glue that bit. Glue in on my tabs. Mm -hmm. okay. And if, if you're making the box, don't, don't forget to use your heavier weight cardstock. Yes. Yeah, you know, 300 GSM for, for your box is brilliant because it's going to give you that real quality finish to it as well. It's fine, everything's fine. We're all good here. You're good. No, mm. no, nothing to see. Mm. Okay. Can you get a sneak peek? I am actually um, working on a little series of the sneak peeks that I'm allowed to do. So, um, 
you know my sneak peeks by now. I, I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, yeah. In the group, the little very macro shots. That Absolutely. I've, got I've been working on a series of those. So that is as much as you're going to be allowed to see for now. Oh. Because like, this isn't just... She's um, such a tease. Well, it's not even that. It's because it's going uh, not just for <laughs> Janelle says to, to, to Gail, I'll pick you up on the way to the international. Excellent. Okay. So I need to make two desks. Yeah, really. intercontinental. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I mean, two desks might be a push. I can't guarantee you'll have a desk there's, eat. There's secrets and there's tonic secrets. Yes. 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 Okay. Are we good? Are you sticking? We, we are good. You've okay, got your there we go. That's how you make your box. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> so, you <laughs> so you now need to put your bottom. I need to put these in now. To strengthen it and to... Uh, yeah. For your top And one. I need to cut these tabs off. So you're going to cut your side glue glue tabs off. Yeah, these ones on here. I'm sure Mammy Annie gave me notes for this and she said, you know, write notes in the box so you don't forget. And I was like, no, I'll be fine. You, you, yeah, you did. You, you, were st you stood there, you were like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be all right. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. But you were doing other things at the same, at the same time, so. And guess what? I'm not all right and I don't remember what she said. I just hope she's not watching because she'd be very disappointed in me. Right, so this is going to sit in here. So this is where we start adding strength to this because we're doubling it up. So I've got effectively 600 GSM Absolutely, here. Yeah. Yep. Good sturdy little box. And by the time you've got your panels on the outside, you're going to have what, six, seven, eight, nine, over a thousand GSM on many, those sides. Many GSM. Yeah, Ab absolutely. Janelle says she's still waiting. This must be a prior conversation. Janelle, but she says she's still waiting for Emma to finish rowing over here. Did Emma say she was going to row, row over? Glue on all of these. We don't want any of these panels flopping, so uh, make sure you uh, glue them very well. Did she say I had to do this on the inside or the outside? I don't remember. I've done it on the inside now, so uh, let's hope that was the right answer. Well, I'd actually do it on the inside. Yeah, because then you've got the nice smooth yeah. of your glue tab on the outside. Abs yeah. Absolutely. That's right. This is the way you do it, on the inside. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, dear. Okay. Make sure all of that is nice. Gail says she just needs a corner in the in, in the warehouse. Should, should be fine. Okay. We can definitely do that. <laughs> we'll get you a nice dark corner where no one can see what you're scrolling away as well. Um. So for this end piece, I'm going to say I need to lop off both glue tabs. Yes. I'm glad we're in agreement. Absolutely, because you've already got the one. Yeah. On the top here, so you just need to re reinforce the insides. I mean, bearing in mind that neither of us have made this box, and this literally is the blind leading the blind. Well, this, but this so. shows you how easy it is. Yeah. I mean, it's not finished yet, so let's not get too confident. Be, have, have confidence. I mean, you know? you, if we do don't have, have confidence in ourselves... Backup in... Is there not instructions inside the uh, die set? There are. Of there, there are. There are. But, backup. But, yeah, but we're proving that you can do it. Because neither of us have touched this. Yep, no, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I was just checking. And the other thing is, this is going to cover my glue tabs on the inside. It so is. So you're not going to see them. Absolutely. Yeah, that's why you do it on the inside. Shh. Yeah, that's we, it. That, that's why knew, you do it on the inside. We knew that. We knew that. Yeah. Totally. We knew that. Yeah. March Man, this has put me on the naughty step for the next year. Oh, no. Oh God. Melanie from Tennessee, I had the book in my car to think over, but when I saw the box, I hit my purchase button. I'm addicted to boxes. I think because this die set does so much, it's not just a memory book. Emma, just pop, pop, pop him in, just pop him in the nose and row faster. Pop him on the nose and row, uh, row faster. They, they must be joking about meeting up somewhere. somewhere. What are we making? We are making the box for our Remember When We Danced memory book. Well, technically I'm making a book in a box, because it does that. <laughs> okay, 
So it's have, you chopped your, have you chopped your yes. tabs off? Yeah. I also took a little bit extra off. So um, top tip for those of you that want to make this and it, for it to actually fit, go slightly over the score line when you're chopping your tabs off. Because you're going inside, you need this to be a smidge shorter than the one it's going over the top Yeah, of. because it's got to go over. Yeah. Don't be like me. Read the instructions. No. It's all good. Right, next one going in. Make sure my score lines meet. And then I can pull it around the corner here. This is why we use wet glue as well. We've got that nice uh, slide time. So I can pull that into that corner. There we go. Did you hear that click into place then? It was so, yeah, it was such a slide. It was such a slide, wasn't it? Right. Smush that all together. That's a technical term. Yep, very technical. Very technical. And don't worry at all if you've got a little bit of gap here. We do have a nice little um, piece to go over the top. It's going to give you a nice flat edge for your lid to sit on. Samantha's just bought her third large purchase from March Madness. Mat Mat Brilliant. Oh, by the way, Jodie, I'm Emma, just to clear up yes. any... Got you! You see, I don't know. I don't normally read these comments. I miss her for lumpers there, Emma. Brilliant. So, I now understand what's, what's going on. Gail says, I'm ready to go. Just waiting for you to arrive. Suitcase is packed. Perfect. Okay, so now I have, from your outer edge, is this the same? Must no. Be. He's had the inner die put in. Yeah, exactly. But it is the same as that outer. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two of these. Because when you, because when you look at the dies, in the dies, you see that the first the first die has just got the edge and a little dot. Yeah, it's good and the, stitching. And then your second die has actually got the deboss on the outside and the cutting edge on the inside. So when you place it onto there, it's going to deboss it and cut your aperture in as well. Perfect. I love the deboss on these, the beautiful. So we're going to sandwich this, I'm going to flip this one over and we're going to stick it under the tabs. She did say that right? Yes. She? She yeah. Did. Yeah. yeah. So you were listening too, so I'm going to... Um, Make yep. sure that you were listening. We're, we're testing Joe. Well, the reason the reason you glue it un, under your tabs is basically to, to reinforce it. Because if you didn't glue it under and you glued it on top, then it'd still wobble. It would. Okay. How many memory book die sets does one person need? Clear, clearly, lots and lots. Added this to my collection. Excellent. Okay, so hands up in chat. Does anyone have all of our memory books? Regina says, do you guys want the HEX codes for matching paper Ooh, codes? Or would, nice. or would you rather the RGB codes? Oh, spoilers, Regina. We'll take both. <laughs> <clears throat> we Can have tried to match it to our card stock as much as possible. Can the sweets truck fit in this box? Oh, the which one now? The the sweet cart from I shall tell the you. showcase I know, or the ice cream truck. I know truck where from some yesterday. sweet some sweet carts are. Give me a minute. Let's get let's get one. Okay, I'm being kind to my glue here. I'm gonna cut it. I'm very sorry. <coughs> You're fine. <coughs> Oh, okay. So we've got a couple. Sue hair, sorry, DCI hair, uh, does have all of them and doubles of some. Oh, I know. Dedication, Me too. that is. It's one of those things, isn't it, Sue, when you've got to cut six or seven pages, it's so much e easier to do. Oh, you just have to make it a little bit taller. I wish it was a little bit taller. You don't know, me too. <laughs> you just have to make it a little bit taller for it to go in. Just maybe half half a panel and that that fit in. Oh. I have all the memory book dies and often mix and match them. Um yes, Mama Leo. <laughs> I know I love to spoil my girls. Thank you very much. <laughs> I only have the memory books that were in the kits. 
I have two, but I do have a couple on the, on the way with spend and save at the, at the moment. Leanne, you'll be addicted, love. Oh, you are. It's, it's one of those <clears throat> things that once you start, it's crazy. I had never made a memory book before I started working here. And now look at me. <laughs> Maria says, I confess, I have them all, some still unopened. Maria, get them out, sweetie. Absolutely. Use those dies. I have so many doubles of tonic dies because I forget which ones I've ordered. Oh, no. Oh, Rebecca. This is where you need to have one of those spreadsheets. Yeah. Hi, Mary, welcome. The in. truck is a bit taller. You'll have to make the sides taller. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's, let's have a look. We've got a truck here. It's like Compare City. Oh, it's a fraction. An absolute fraction look. I think if you double up the sides, If though, you just do half half a panel. Yeah, half a. Do a half a. Yeah. But that would be a lovely display box to put them in, wouldn't it? It'd be brilliant. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Is there something tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> Oh, do I need to... Oh, no, I'm I'm not covering it. I'm not hiding it today. You are. And the dyes are. But, I mean... I'm going to wait that way. No? Oh, yes. I didn't see that one in the back. I did intentionally put a not uh, bright one in the back. So it kind of is a little bit camouflaged. <laughs> but, of course, we've got something for tomorrow. Four days of new launches. It's crazy, isn't it? But I have to say, what an amazing launch is they, they, they Oh, been. they are. You know, from the actual um, mushroom house that we had on m Monday. Now, that's sold out in the UK. The UK is it sold out in the US now, Cam? Yes. Okay. Oh, officially gone. So, the Monday was the Enchanted Fair, Fairy Village. That's sold, sold out. Um, do we have any of the, cor the corresponding paper bundles left for that, or is um, that sold out? The uh, one in the UK is sold out, the one in the US I believe is still in stock. Okay, so on Tuesday we had best of a tenner deals with the delightful sweet treat van. We're still alright for the sweet treat van? Yes, we are. Are we still okay for the card bundles? Uh, yes, we are. So the sweet treat van in the UK and the US, that was 34 dollars or sterling uh, for that and the car bundles that were to go alongside that they were nine dollars and 99 and then today we are looking at the amazing remember when we danced so in if you're interested in this in the us or the uk it's 59 dollars 99 or 59 dollars pounds yeah but then you've got your papers so you've got your 12 by 12s, which are $12.99 equally in the UK. Your 8 by 8, which is the same design, but with that quirky o overlay that's reduced down in size. So they're £12.99 or $12.99. But you can buy both of those together as a bundle. So if you buy those together as a bundle, you're basically saving a fiver because you can get it for $19.99, yeah? And what our lovely Leo is doing here, she's actually putting one, one of the boxes together for the first time, live. Yeah? It's not too, too, too bad, is it? Nah. Be right. Be all right, love. Be right. So I've got all, I've got all and doubles of many of the memory books myself. Photo printers, the small photo tags look like the name tags on suitcases. They do, Cass, I do, I agree there. Um, Manly, can you remember what we were going to ask Jodie? Because I can't. Oh, that sounds rare. Oh, oh. What, what were you going to ask Jodie? Okay, here's the bit that I'm like 100% unsure about. I'm just going to put that out there. We have these little reinforcing brackets. Kitchen. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's because I'm thinking. <laughs> but I, right. I would be putting those on before I put my top tier on. So these go under. But you'll notice we've got two different versions because we've got two different angles of our... Yeah. So these, see, you've got a glue tab. I'm could, oh, hold on. Let me move that so you can actually see it. I've got a glue tab. And then I've got the flat top piece. And what I want to do is tuck them under here. So I'm going to line them up with the edge of this reinforcing piece I've put on here. And they're going to glue to 
these sides. The reason being, if you can see, we've got this little 90 degree angle yep. going on here, and it's to try and hold this straight for you, basically. Make sure you're straight. Absolutely. In the immortal words of <laughs> Mammy Ali. Oh, hold, hold on. Jody, the Hexby memory book, do you have to use the larger spine? No, you can use whatever spine you want. Use I'm whatever sure, spine that you want. Um, okay, if you have a look on our memory book playlist, when we redid a whole bunch of memory book stuff last year, we had like a memory book month. I don't know if you remember this way back when. Tonic tutorials were a thing. When we had time. When Jody. we had time. When we had time, yeah. Um, we did a whole load of the hexagonal book. Mm. And I'm sure I put a different spine in that. Cam's yeah. going to find it. I can hear him tap tapping over there. Yeah, you can use any of the spines with any of the books. Yes. Yeah. The only difference is the space between each page for format. Yeah. So I could use the original spine, which is going to give you like just over a centimetre between your pages or I could use the broad one that's going to give me like a centimetre and a half or I can not fold a section and have a wider section yeah but you can use any of the, the spines because there's been quite a few bundles like this one that came with the spines mm -hmm. as well some of the kits as well they came yes. with individual spines so there's all, all different spines but it's entirely up to you it's horses for courses and there's also if you don't want the um spines like the one that we have in this one so like this Ooh, she says throwing it across the table um a lot of our sets also have the um dies that will give you um holes so you can do either a ribbon bound or a ring bound spine yep. as well absolutely i love i love the fact that you can bind them in so many different ways yes it really gives one die set so many different ways of construct constructing it because yep. let's face it if you're going to do a say a children's book for a kid, yeah. Then the bead one that, that, that I did with the beads is quite funky because you can make it quite bright and invigorating, but you wouldn't want that on, say, a book for your dad. No. You know, so th there's just loads of different ways of binding it, even just tying them with garden string. There's loads of different ways. Okay, got my last two brackets to go on. <laughs> Nicole. This is, so Nicole saying thanks to, to, to Mo, the extra hand worked a tree, never had a bunny tail with a mullet, business at the front and long at the back, hairstyle before. What? That is such a sentence, you could take that anywhere you want. Love it. I feel like we've missed half a conversation Ab there. Absolutely. How to punch for ring band. Okay, so quite a few of our memory book die sets actually have the die included in them for ring bound. They do. Um, I guess if you don't have one of those sets that has it in, I mean, dare I say a cinch? Um, yep. You know, one of those kind of uh, large, heavy duty, hole punching in a <coughs> roll machine. However, this one has it in. There you go. There you go. It's got, it's got one in. And what you'll notice on this as well, you see these little notches? These line up with your page sizes. I don't know if you can actually see those because of the white. Can you see it better on here? Can you see the little bonus notches on here? Yes? Find me a page. Let's grab that one. So, you will notice that those notches line up with the cut edge on here. So once you've cut your page, oh look, here's one I put made earlier. Once you've cut your pages, you're going to line up your die. Now this is the largest page, so you'll notice that the die sits right into the edges of here. If I'd cut the next one down, my pages would be here, so I'd line those notches up with the edge of my die cut, and that would mean that I would get the rings in exactly the same place, or the whole sorry, in exactly the same place on every page. Oh goodness, when will the tangerine be back in stock? I feel like we should have like some scrolling text just going across you, the screen. You know those red red buttons that you can buy for like um, puzzle nights? And you press it and it goes beep, <laughs> beep. We're going to have one of those buttons to press every time we have a question about the ta tangerine. Soon, soon. So basically with the tangerine, it is in production. Um, over in our factory, it is being made. Absolutely. However, that in itself is not a fast process. 
then we can't we can't fly them here. I mean, physically, they would probably take up an entire aeroplane and they would be too heavy. So they have they to come heavy. over on the water on a container ship. And that is a six to eight week process it is, yeah. for those. So what we will do, and you know, we are promising this as soon as they are on the water, we will like alert you. We will alert the presses. I will be singing from the rooftops. The klaxon will be sounded that tangerines are en route. They are on their way. Should we, should we, should we get the, the... I'm the, doing this on ours, but I was wondering why this isn't fitting. Should we, should, should, we get, should we get the copyright so we are sailing? Yes, <laughs> we should. Thank you. I was trying to glue that to the stunt box. Do you know what? I could have just... And here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a trick there. I could have got away with that. <sighs> I pass me that stamp box, Jody. I've just realised something else. Has anyone else seen my deliberate mistake here? What? How am I going to get a book in this? <laughs> so, before you glue in your reinforcing ring, this is literally a comedy of, you know, do as I say, not as I do, isn't it? Well, surely you can keep those, those, those in. Not if my pages are coming out. Ah. Uh. Uh, yep. Should have done this before I glued it in. And I would recommend doing this on a trimmer, not with a pair of scissors. But here we are. Lesson learned. Do read the instructions, everybody. Do read the instructions. Okay. I'm just going to give myself a corner to corner. So there you go, see? Now it looks like the stunt box. So stunt box, stunt box. my box, okay? Look At it. some point, I'm just gonna go, here it is. Alrighty, I need to do that then on the other one. Oh no, you can't do that. My, my, ho my hobby is offered to buy me a tan tangerine. The question is, can I spray paint it to match my studio? Is that Ooh. sacrilege? It is sacrilege. Ooh. You can't do that to Tommy. Pretty. Uh, so Regina is it as Raquel. Oh. So when you are cutting this, you want to cut from this corner into that corner basically. So I'm going to do the same little bit of doctoring on this one that I should have done on the other one before I stuck it in. How am I doing so far? How many mistakes have I made? Are we keeping You've a made tally? You've made two. That's okay. it. You've made two mistakes so far. But, but, so far. But but who we, am I? We've still got a ways to go yet though, haven't we? Who am I? Right, okay. Glue all over this then. So we're going to add another one of those reinforcing rings all the way over. This is going to hide all of your glue tabs. If things aren't quite meeting, it's going to hide all of that for you. We're hiding our workings, basically. So let's That's get... a really solid sort of... Um, I don't know what to put ring going around there, isn't it? The, yes. the actual out, outside edge is it's going to be solid. It's going to give you a nice surface for your lid to sit onto, which is what's important here, because you want that nice flat surface for your lid to sit nice and firmly on top. Okay, pull that over to there. i tell you what I'd be doing there before I actually put that on there. I'd actually be putting a cheeky magnet under there. Yeah, a magnet would be a good idea. Absolutely. I'd be sliding my magnet un under that before I, I put that top on to hide where the magnet actually sits. I like that. No mistakes, only teachable moments. There we go, yes. The, the teachable moment, the thing I want you to take away from this is read your instructions before you start gluing. Um... What is it they say? I mean, Regina says, no mistakes in crafting, just an excuse for embellishments. Very Absolutely, true. stick Very a flower true. on it. In the in the building world, was it measure twice, cut one? Yes. Yeah, and you read read twice, glue once. I learned I, I learned that mistake with, with my dad. So years and years ago, we were having a um, new new kitchen. Okay. And we decided to put the old kitchen into the utility room. Right. So it would just fit. We just had enough material from the old kitchen to put all the, cor the cornicing back on and ev everything. So dad comes along, he, he's mitre saw, and he says, just go up and measure it. So I measure it, and I, I can't remember how big it were. But I said, it's 15. I meant centimetres. Oh, he no. did inches. Oh, no. And it was just like, no! Ah, oh, absolutely. So this is the side panel. 
Um, also, what I would suggest, if you're cutting glue tabs off things, don't use little scissors. Use the longest pair of scissors you can. But unfortunately, my stuff has been moved um, rather a long way away and I can't actually get to my big scissors. Uh, so, um, Regina says, yeah, but Jodie, you don't like flowers, I know. That's why it's an issue. It, I'm always putting a dirty thumb thumb mark on it. It's like, what do I stick, stick on it? A drop. Yeah. A bit of dropage covers a lot of things. Okay, there we go. Again, don't do not do that. Use a long pair of scissors, you can do it in one single cut, so that it's, <laughs> it's not like this. Or even better, use a trimmer or guillotine. Absolutely. Yes, right. The box is going back in. I'm going to glue this tab. So this panel, you've got a glue tab, that's one with your little mitered edges, and you've got a straight tab on this side. This is what's going to have your lid. You're going to sandwich two of your base pieces, lid pieces, around this and it's going to form your lid. So I'm going to glue this to here. I, th I, I can see this box being used on so many different projects. I really can. I mean, just going through some of the stuff that we've done in, in recent months, mm -hmm. just use it for like a card box to put your notebooks in. What a beautiful shaped box it makes for notebooks. You don't have to do it's big, you could downsize it a little, a little bit so it's na narrower. Yes. There's just loads of different ways of play playing with it. I love it. I really do. Okay, there we go. And then we flip the whole thing over and I'm going to reinforce my base with another one. And of course that means I'm going to hide all of my glue tabs and we're going to double this up. It's always worth reinforcing your bottom. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Oh, Rosh says, um, I bought I bought it, Mo, the lock and paper clips did it for, for, for me. Nice. It is, it's those extra little bits, isn't it, that really make a difference. Those little bits of decorations. This is one of uh, Jodie Johnson's top tips. When you have a stitched edge like this, don't glue right up to the edge. Glue inside of the stitching, because you do not want your glue to squidge out. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's the worst, when you, especially when you're doing gold mint mirror card. Ooh. It's an absolute nightmare. nightmare. Neva says, it's the tiniest elements in the sets that just make us lose control. It is, it's the little things in life, isn't it? It is. Mo says her bottom needs reinforcing. <laughs> My bottom does not. Then Raggedy Ann says, Mo, don't fight it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm going to use my uh, precision blind folder to press the bases together. Make sure they are nicely bonded all the way along. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side to dry. Spine. Can you see the score lines on there? I don't know. Maybe. Barely. Barely. Yeah, I thought so. So, let me see. Oh, there think. we go. Now you can see them. Now you can see yeah, them? Yeah. I want this one to be a valley, valley, then a mountain, valley, and a mountain. Isn't it lucky I've got you know the queen <laughs> of uh, memory books next? It's to nice me. to sit, and sit, sit next to you and, and watch somebody else do it for a change. Yeah, you're right there, nice and comfy. Um, I, I'm, Should we I am, a coffee? I am absolutely fine. I'm, you know, a glass of wine wouldn't, wouldn't have gone amiss, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite enjoying myself here. So valley and then mountain. Ain't no mountain higher. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we want another valley. And I am reinforcing these because I want these to be nice and square and nice crisp, crisp creases. And then I want another valley because that bit's going to glue down. So what I'm ending up with, if you can see, I've got this piece that's going to have my page stuck to it and then I've got a bit that's gluing down and a bit that's gluing down and then another bit. So your spine for this one is just two pages but of course you can use multiples. You can add as many spines as you want, you can extend the box you could. to make it bigger. And just to put it sort of in the works, the actual die that does the little holes, you can actually pierce your spine as well so you could actually tie to your spine rather than glue to your spine just it, ju it just gives you a, a, a different look as well it, look, it looks quite a, attractive just having mm. the, the, the ribbon down the side 
And I guess it's a different kind of strong then. Obviously, we'd all say wet glue mm -hmm. for gluing your pages on. Yep. But if you've actually bound your pages to your spine, yep. they're really not going anywhere. Yeah, it, but it looks quite nice because rather than have a a page that's a front and a back, you've got a page that opens within a page. Does that, does that make sense? Because you've bound it rather than stuck it. It's quite, it looks quite nice. This is what we end up with. And normally I would tape this, but you know what? The box of sticky things is also far, far away. So we're and I don't, I don't think there's any, any sticky stuff in there, love, because I looked yes, yesterday. Shall I hold? So we're just going to pinch those together, and my lovely assistant is going to hold those for me. OK, what am I doing? So uh, this panel, I was cutting the ends off. This is another one that is the um, this one. So I've taken the glue tab off the bottom and I've taken this tab off the top as well. And I'm going to glue that inside here. Right, we're having a conversation on, on here of how to decorate Tommy with, that, with that vinyls. OK. Now, if you're going to decorate him with vinyls, please send us some photos. Oh, I'd love to see that. I would love to see some photos, yeah. Because my Tommy, bless him, Tommy T TV, he's, he's feeling a bit tired these, these days. He could use a bath. He, he could definitely use it a bath. But I think it would be quite funny to stick some vinyls on it and see if anybody at Crate and Craft actually notices. Oh. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, press that in. Make sure you're not interfering with this, that this still folds nicely. Oh, do you know what? If I was going to, okay, confession time. I don't really craft at home anymore. I know I shouldn't say that out loud. I really shouldn't. <laughs> But I don't. If I was going to start crafting again, there are two things I would probably get into. Resin. Yep. If I was going to. Or I would get myself a cricket and I would start vinyling everything. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, um, with, with Amy get, getting married in October, I've actually bought a load of decals for her wedding. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, yeah, I've been doing all flower arrangement. You'll, you'll be right things. proud of me when you see it all, honestly. Oh, they're lovely. I never knew I could do it, but I've done some absolute corkers, if I do say so myself. I've had some sneak peeks. Lovely. They are beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Jodie, send me your tangerine and I'll customise it. Oh, honestly, it's filthy. It really is. Oh, dear. We'll talk later, Jodie. Uh, Honestly, he's he's fallen out and out of the car. Okay, oh, so he, he's he's cracked his foot. Was the floor okay? <laughs> <laughs> Big chunk out of his foot. But he did fall out of a, a um, the back of my car, which is a high car. So he fell out of the, there. My handle has fallen off numerous times, so it's lost its pain on its hand handle. Um, he's covered in nouveau drops and sticky tape inks and everything and you know something is the only man in my life that never complains he's brill excellent okay. does what i want him to do when i want him to do it the man everyone dreams of eh? absolutely okay so i'm gluing on my second lid. how much glue are you using a lot i want it to stick together <laughs> If I was if I were in a uh, craft lesson, then I'd be going, "How much?" Get rid of that bit of paper in the middle. Okay. Oop. Line that up. But this is where your um, magnetic plates come in as well. So if, if you've got our magnet plate with the magnet magnets, put it on. Put your magnets on the corner and then, you, and then you can leave it. And it'll just keep it all sticking down. Potentially what I would have done is I would have, before I glued this panel in, I would have glued these together around that mm. and put it like between plates under Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's something about if you um, use wet glue between two big sheets of card like this and put it under something heavy, something happens to it. It becomes really... It does thick. It feels yeah, thicker, doesn't it? it does. There's some yeah. crazy... Yeah. But I tell you those... Um, oh, what are those long position bars that we've done recently? Those long magnets. Oh, the mag long magnets, oh, yeah. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. They are superb for doing this sort, sorts of thing. Either side of your spine as well. You know when you're... You're waiting for your pages to stick on either side of your spine. Those position bars, one on one side and one on the other, honestly, it's the bee's knees, it's brilliant. 
We okay, Cam? Yeah. You, you had your head in your hands for just a moment there and I got a little bit worried. Oh, no, I, I'm just doing stuff in the background. Okay. okay, fine. So, box, lid. We now have that done. Okay, I'm going to put my spine in. So, obviously, you can see... Oh, you probably can't because we've used white card on white card, but... Cammy can, can adjust it if you alert them after. What's oh. Oh, is this cameo? Yeah. Is Cammy Cam the cameo? Oh. All oh, right. Or is it you? What am I Are alerting? You, are you Cammy Cam? Uh, maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm. It depends. To... What's the word? Yeah. What are they asking? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm. I'm. I'm not reading everybody's comments. I'm. I'm just literally s skipping in and skipping out of them. So I might have lost track of that conversation. So I have my spine in here while Jodie is trying to catch up and you can see, so my fingers are at the end of the spine so you can see it sits quite nicely within the box because obviously you're going to want to be able to pull the pages out from here so it needs to be within this gap basically. So I have pages and I need a trimmer. I'm going to have to grab that in a second. And Rianne has cut me some pages. Now these are just in um, Craft Perfect Classic. This is our lovely bubblegum because um, I have the beautiful grey paper to use with these. She has cut me. I've two just pages. tried to place an order, but it won't take the codes TCK or dollars. Oh. I always, I always, come, come back here. I always have a hard time with codes not, not, not taking. Cammy, yeah, so Cammy Cam. Cammy is asking Cam. Right. Got, I'm, I'm there now, yeah. Okay, so. Put your order through and we'll adjust it on the, the back end. Let me know when you've put the order through so I can find it and then I'll refund you back for the difference. Does um, that... it, sometimes the codes don't work because you're going too quick through the cart, so you've got to let it load. Um, the other thing is um, if you haven't accepted cookies, that has affected codes in the past. Um, but yeah, just put your order through and I will sort that out. That's so, so, all right, Cam. Mm. Cam will fix it. Cam will fix it for you. No bobs here. There we go. <laughs> right. Got to the e end of that. I thought I was, I was losing the plot then, but that's right. Okay. Sorted. So, does weather affect resin? Yes, I can tell you it does. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Spooky. Nope. No falling out. See what I remember. Can you cook for cook? Can you cut faux leather on a tangerine? Oh yes, you can. You can cut proper leather on a tangerine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut down my pages. This is actually kind of nerve-wracking doing this next to you now. I'm just going to say that. It's so what? I have a, a trimmer. It's a bit nerve-wracking doing Why? this. Why? In case I do it wrong. <laughs> so I'm lining up. If you can see this edge here, I'm lining that up with the track in my trimmer because I want to cut this straight along here, basically. And this is a nice book because it has a flat edge here. I can make sure it's butted up against the edge of my trimmer. Okay. Right, question from Sue Hare. Okay. She can't order on a phone even though it acknowledges that she's in the UK. It changes the currency to euros, but her iPad is fine. Um, um, yes, there was a setting that Shopify introduced to allow people internationally to shop within their own currency. However, um, that has affected people within the UK. Um, there is nothing in the background that I can do. I need to talk to Shopify to figure out if there is anything that can be done. Um, but unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have an answer to... For a, I don't have a solution to this. There, there we go. Raggedy Ann, leather. Yeah, you can cut leather on a tangerine. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've, I've actually done it on um, really expensive leather. And when I say expensive leather, I actually mean car seats. You know, you, you know how thick the leather is in a car seat? Yeah, well, I had um, a BMW seat, seat cover from a BMW that had been trashed. Nice. So um, I used to cut the, yeah, the leather from the BMWs. Okay, just trimming these down. Anyone else in 
the US having problems with it not allowing instalment pay payments. Mm. Is it anything? They're not sure on the um, okay. the installments. Well, people are asking what what you can cut on the tangerine. Everything, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I've had um, balsa wood through it. Mm -hmm. I've had. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. If there's some more obscure things I've had through the tan the tangerine. I've had balsa wood through it. I've had marquetry through through it. You know the really thin marquetry from from tables. I've cut marquetry with it. Um, leather um, lino. I've cut on it. Um, felt. Um, what's that really plasticky stuff they make tablecloths out of? Oh, the thingy coated cotton. Yeah, that, no problem at all. You can cut everything. Absolutely everything. So, what I need to do now, I need to cut down my pages in length. And if I bring in this book in the box that we've done, if I try and give you some orientation marks on here. So, the score line that you can hopefully see on this page is at the notch here so we want to go a little bit beyond that so that we've got enough room for our page to sit within the box yep and then is this bubble gum that you're using it is a lady's asking for the item number for bubble gum have you got a code for bubble gum there? Find so what you can do is put your page into the box and line it up so that you have a nice even border of the box all the way around the outside. It's going to be very hard for you to see that on the top down camera, I realise, because of the rim that we have around the top. But then you can give yourself like a mark of where you want to cut to. And all I have to hand is a craft pick. I mean, is there any better tool? Do we need anything else in the craft It's my desert island product. I love my craft pick. Now, don't tell Simon, but I'm, I'm obsessed with the craft pick. If you go in my handbag, you'll find two or three of them <laughs> in my handbag. Go into the glove compartment of, of my car, you'll find another two, two or three of them. Then there must be about four or five in my craft kit at work, at Crate and Craft. And then in my office, oh, there's a handful. Can't yeah. do without them. No, could not have I use them too. on all sorts, on blocking things, stabbing things, pushing things out in the kitchen. Do all sorts. We Love them. It's a defensive weapon in case you get mugged. <laughs> I mean, that's what you've got in your handbag, you, right? Can you imagine it? What What did you get in with, madam? I got in with my Tim Holtz craft pick. Yeah. Okay, so I've measured one and I'm using that one to line up the rest, basically. Quick crafting. Okay. So, ages ago now, um, there the was a gentleman arrested in Sheffield um, for causing bodily harm and they showed a picture mm -hmm. of different things that he'd been arrested with. Right. One of those items was um, tempted him Holt's um, surrogated scissors. <laughs> I thought, oh my god. Awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. Tonic 24 hour craft marathon Cam and Blake blind created a doodad. Create a doodad. Are you going to create a doodad, Cam? I have no intentions of creating a doodad. A doodad no. doodad? I'd love to see a, a Cam and Blake craft off. I think that'd be hilarious. Okay, so the other thing that I don't have, you might notice I'm, I'm lacking a scoring blade on, on my trimmer. Um, it has done a runner, shall we say, from down here. So I'm going to improvise. That's what we do. I'm going to line up the notch in here. I'm going to use the track in my trimmer to give myself a score line. If this is not, um, you know, crafting without the correct tools and how to get by anyway, I don't know what it is. So, Miss Heffalump, so I've just ordered three memory books that came to £150, but with spend and save plus my TCK. It came down to a hundred. Bargain. Well done, Emma. Which ones did you get? Let us know. Absolutely. 
And when can we look forward to seeing your projects on the group? Absolutely. Emma's been making some lovely, lovely books recently. Sea Dragonite. Phew. I've ordered for once. Now I've got the box. Plus books to, to do. Yippee. Amazing. Okay. That's that bit done. I realise now what the comment was er earlier. Cool, blimey. I'm, I'm a bit, bit slow today. She's making pom-pom tails for bunnies. It's Easter, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is Easter. I'm, I'm thinking, what's she making pom-poms for? Do you know how I know it's Easter? Look behind us. Yeah, but I didn't put two and two together. I'm, I'm thinking, what's she going on about pom-poms? I'm with you now. It all makes sense. Okay, spine is going in the book. No, it's not. It's going in the box. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it's also a book. It's just yeah. a book that is in a box. So I'm going to stick my spine, where do you reckon? At the top or at the bottom? I would, so it would depend on how much ephemera you're putting into your book, mm. yeah? Because if you're putting a lot of ephemera in, you're going to want your spine quite close to the bottom. So, so your, pa got... your pages are actually weighted in yes. there. So it, yeah, it, it would depend how much ephemera you're going to put in. Um, what time are we at? Quarter to two. So none. Is how much I'm going to put in. Um, oh, I love it. So I'm going to put mine towards the top. There go, go for it. Obviously, you could put multiple spines in here, so I think you could probably get at least two, if not three. Yeah, because you overlap the. You do. You overlap yeah. them. So you could get three spines. You could get six pages in here of this spine. Yeah. I mean, looking at that, I think you would get. I think you'd you'd get three of the original spine in in there, um, and I think you would get. Maybe two and a half of the broader one mm -hmm. in there. Okay, let's try and make sure I've got this central. Wow! Raggedy Ann, I ordered the memory book, three sets of papers, two plastic A4 boxes, a replacement trimmer blade for under a hundred dollars shipped. There are some serious bargains going on today. I'm very impressed with all of the girl math that is happening. I know. <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and then she's put, I fell back on my word of only needing the three that, that, that I have. She's put more in a basket, bless her. Oh, so Emma, come on, which ones, has she said which ones she's bought? I'm curious. Okay, I'm going to fold my pages along my score lines and I'm going to fold them both ways because I want them to be able to, uh, it's going to say flop nicely. Crafty Melanie, I've ordered the memory book, the papers, a paper bundle and found a very old craft kit that was in, in German and saved myself 50 euros. Love Amazing. It. I'm loving all the deals that you guys are finding. Absolutely, so, so am I. Hi, Joe, Leo, and team. We, we've ordered. So, 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 when do you think we can expect them? Please, believe you me, Lauren in the ware Aww. warehouse. She's busting her book, bless her. Yeah, she really is. She was pushing the biggest pallet I saw this morning. She had shoulder behind it, and she'll go it. Oh, bless her heart. The um, the warehouse fairies are working very hard over here in the UK. Um, I know orders have been going out actually pretty quickly. Mm. Yep. I think some people have already had dispatch notices on their houses and things, yep, so yeah, they're on have. their way out. Yep. Okay, I'm adding my pages in, so I've put some glue along here. I would normally at this point be red line and glue, Me too. but you know, we, we, we work with what we have. Absolutely. Do you know what I never ever use wet glue on my spines, I've always used red line and tape. Yeah? Mm. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but yeah, I've always used... I would just be worried about them Pop, popping, popping off. off. Yep. Yeah, so what I normally do is if I... It's, it's, well, it's, sometimes it's an advantage and sometimes it's not. So sometimes when you've done a book and you want to refresh that book... <laughs> you just pop all the pages off. Yeah. What I would normally do is put like two pieces of red lines, one here, one here, and then glue all around mm. the red line. So the red line gives you the immediate... Grab. Grab. And then your glue is going to settle into all those fibres, make new paper, basically. Raggedy Ann, please tell the USA we need our fairy houses. Get them told, Cam. Okay. All right, I'm going to put a lot of glue on this and Jodie's going to tell me off. This is just how I craft. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Regina says, Jodie, while you're there and putting stuff in your bag, can you add a couple of items for, for me, please? I'm missing a few drops, shimmer sprays, micro, micro mist, and five individual mini ink, ink cubes. Oh, love it. Uh, Regina is our um, resident collector. Um, she pretty much has the entire uh, Tiny Studios collection, I think. Yeah, it's um, it's sad how much stuff you collect, isn't it? Yeah. This just feels weird that I'm not putting glue all across the middle, but I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to get told off if I do. So. Uh. Well, if, if you did that on Craft Craft Perfect, it would bulge. This is true. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm lining up the top edge first, because that's the one that matters. It is. It's the one you see. If it doesn't quite meet at the spine end, who's going to notice? Absolutely. Oh, I did see a question about um, no solid colours. So we don't have a paper bundle this time around. We will give you the colours that coordinate with the papers, but we have the patterned papers instead today. So we, we do. don't have a... And I have to say, what patterned papers? They are yeah. beautiful. They we'll are go through them again stunning. momentarily. They're gorgeous. So do we only need to glue around the edges? Hannah, it depends on what, on what cardstock you're using, sweetheart, yeah? So with a Craft Perfect, with it only being a 2616, you can overload the card and you'll get ripples in it. But with a 300 GSM, you've got two options. Yes, you can glue all the way around, around the page and that will give you a double page. But if you only glue on three sides, either the two sides and the side where your spine is, it then makes that page into a pocket. So you can put different ephemera or just a pulley out in, in between your pages. Does that, okay. does that make sense? I'll do one now. Absolutely, go for so, it. So if I was making a pocket out of this one, let me just make sure I know which way up this is. That way, so I need that side. Right, okay, if I was making a pocket out of this, I would go along the square edges. So I would glue along here. Like Sue so. says she's a tonic librarian. <laughs> like so. I'm going to glue around these edges. I'm going to glue across the bottom of here. And of course we need glue down here because this is the bit that's going around our spine. She's watching me. She's watching me very closely. Okay, so this is what I've got on here. So then I'm going to line up my top edge. I'm going to try and do this on camera. I know this is really hard because we're, we're a lot off the mat now, so we're a bit yeah. out of focus. So years and years ago, when I used to go out and do all the um, shows, um, there was a time that I could tell you every tonic product with every code, yeah? And it's now, I can't even remember the product names, and you mind the product codes. It's just like, oh. I can remember 200N. Yep. One N as well. Yep. Yeah, but now all those all those years back, I could tell you the punch name, the product code, everything, and now we just got so much stuff you can so forget now we it. So have pocket that we can put another piece into here. You can have your little Absolutely. Tab. It just gives you that extra extra little little space, do not it? It's just just really nice to have that that different. That's rather so nice. That is my book in a box. Well, let's put some paper on it. It just feels weird to not, doesn't it? Which way do we think this goes? That way? I've yeah. got a bit of gold can't I? Yeah, because it, it's got the butterfly. Yeah. We don't want the butterfly going to Australia. Well, it might be an Australian butterfly. Yeah, it might be, but yeah. Okay. We all have mini atonic ware warehouses. Yeah, my, my, my car, my husband's threatened to spray it yellow. He says it's a portable skip. Because it's just literally full of all the stuff that I need for crates and crafts, and so I can work down there. So you know the um, really useful boxes, the large ones. Mm -hmm. If you go in the, into the boot of my car, there's like six of those all stacked in the back with cardstock, papers, glues, drops, you name it. And then I've got my two tool boxes in there. Nice. That are cos like co cosmetic boxes, you know, they stack. So there's those in there. Yeah, it's just like a portable craft cabin. Jodie, would it be possible for you to bring the first tonic die set when you next come to Wales? Yes, I can. I Probably that will be towards the end of July. Maybe. Well, maybe sooner. Maybe sooner. Sooner. But yeah, I can bring you the, I can bring you the first, 
even before it went into man man manufacture because if I tell you a story, the first ever tonic dye was actually going to be orange in colour. Oh. Yeah, so we decided that we were going to have orange dyes because of our corporate colour. When the orange dyes came, grey until you actually used them. And then they left an orange imprint in the cards. Ah. Yeah, so we had to change them and go all sil silver. So yeah, I can bring you bring you the originals. Now, of course, you're going to spend a lot more time decorating your book than I currently have. I tell you what, next time I'm down, I've actually got a couple of sets of the originals. So, oh. next time I'm down, uh -oh. let's have a giveaway. I like that idea better. I thought you were going to say a craft off, and I was going to say no. No, let's, let, <laughs> let's have a giveaway, yeah? So, the next time I'm down, we'll, we'll come up with some sort of theme. Yep. And we'll have a competition giveaway for a set of the first ever tonic dyes. I'd like that. That'd yeah. Fun. There we go. There we go, book in a box is done. I do have lots of extra bits that I could put on here. I've got the straps and everything, but you know, we've been here for two hours already and we kind of need to run through everything again. So probably I, I we love it. There. I absolutely love it. Book in a box, love it. And I, it I, I love the quality, the finished result is absolutely superb. It, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. The best one yet. The boy has done good. So you guys should probably show you how to make a padlock. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. Well, it might help. It might. Okay, let me get all of the bits. So this is, um, we decided, wasn't it, the Elegant Armoire. We had a padlock in previously. And this is going to be built in a very similar way. So you have six hooks. You have four inners and four outers, basically. Look at the state of this glue. Wow. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to glue all of my hooks together. Raggedy Ann said that would be incredible to, to, to win. I'll tell you what, Raggedy, I will sort it out. Yeah, and I've, I've even got dyes at home that we've designed and never put into manufacture. So... I will, sort, I will sort out a couple of those gems so you'll end up with a set of dyes made by Tonic that have never ever gone into manufacture. Mm. There, there we go. I shall, I shall sort them out. A sneak peek for tomorrow. Ooh. I don't know if we should do that. You smell lovely. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you would want a, a sneak peek of what's coming. Tomorrow, I don't all. know. It's good. It's good. It is. It's very good. Okay. Still going. Sorry. Bear with. So, how many tiers of the latch do we do? So, I've got six of these, six of these hooky bits. Do make sure you line them up. That part is important. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. I think I have all the early sets, just missing a few of the later USA exclusives. There were USA exclusives? Yes, there were. Ooh. There was a couple. Cheeky. Yeah. Okay, last of my little hooks going together. Janelle says, I've got the dies I won, Jody, that were the wrong size. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so there is the hook part. Again, this is the kind of thing that you're going to want to put to one side, probably under something heavy, to let it dry. Um, Cam, can you press the power button on the monitor, please? Yes. Thank you very much. So now I'm doing the inner section. And again, we're just going to glue all of these together. This is a very important one to line up properly. It's very clever. Don't tell them. We don't do that kind of thing. No. No, we just make pretty cards. We do. 
We don't know anything. No. Okay, last one of these. So it's four of these pieces. I used to have a lot of um, Italian waiters working for me years and years ago. And out of all the things I learned, I learned from them, I know nothing. I know nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Exactly. Right, then, we're going to take one of our bases and put it onto the back, like so. Now, this is where you need to be supremely careful that you do not any get any glue squidging out of the edges. I feel like I don't have quite the right number here. But I'm going to trust that Mammy Ali has cut the right number, but I'm thinking now this is wrong. Because that's going to be too deep, isn't it, for sitting in there. This needs to be more than this. Yes. Are there any more? Have I lost any? Well, just give me another one of those backboards. There's a machine there. I'll cut, there cut you another one. Thank you. Here you go. Have a, have a couple of pink ones. Hmm. How many am I going to need if I've done six of those and I've got four? I'm going to need at least three. Is that right? One more. You want another one? Oh, so another three. three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you're gluing your back piece on here, you need to make sure you don't get any glue coming into this open area because this is where your locking piece is going to slide. And if you've got any glue stuck in there, it's not going to slide properly. Go. So we have a, a slight colour change. <laughs> I'm on a plane rocket ship. Should they never notice? No. It's all good. Bear with them, just double checking the instructions. It looks like a little um, space man as well in the waist. Yeah, it says four hooks, four front and backs and six inners. That's where we, uh, we went wrong. So, yes. Apparently the wrong part was right. But it's fine. We can, uh, we can work with this. Thank you very much, Jodie. Alright, is that enough? Thank you. So we're just going to pretend that I have um, six of this piece and I only have four of these. Once you have the correct number of um, inner pieces and hook pieces glued together, we then set the hook inside this part, and then we're going to glue. It's actually probably very good that this is double coloured now because you can see where I'm putting the glue. So only put glue around the edges of this because again, you don't want this to squidge out because that's going to stop quite, sliding. It's quite nice though because from the side you're going to have two tone. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty. I think, I think that's quite nice. It's so a bit different, isn't it? Yes, you can see. I like that. What was it? We, somebody said earlier there's never a crafting accident. No, definitely not. And then your padlock Love it. slides in and out. Working padlock. Very awesome. nice. Love it. Absolutely. She did it. She's happy. She's done it. That's it, I'm done for the week now. Well done. So, what have we had today? So today we have launched the brand new memory books. We've also launched the beautiful paper pads, yeah? So the actual memory book is a double die set. So you've got 82 dies in that, and if you're buying it here in the UK or the US, then that is $59 or £59.99, yeah? Double set, making not only your memory book, but also the presentation box as well, which can be used in conjunction with all your other memory books. So it's gonna, you're gonna use this so many times. We've also got the brand new papers, and I have to say, the best yet. They are beautiful. They're both, $12.99 or pounds each, but 
If you buy them as a bundle, i.e. a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8, you can save yourselves another £5 or $5 because for both of them, they're working out at 19 99 which is an absolute crack. That's beautiful. That's mm -hmm. absolutely be beautiful. So don't forget, if you are spending, you can build those discount codes as well. So if you spend 50, I spat all over the place then. <laughs> I got so, so excited at the discount codes. So if you spend 50 pounds or dollars, you're gonna save 10%. 70, you're gonna save 15. 80, you're gonna save 20. And if you spend over 100 pounds or 100 dollars, you're gonna save 25% as well. But don't forget your TC, TCK code will also take another 10% off. And it, is it over £100 for free shipping in the States? Uh, over £75. Over £75 shipping. you're going to get free shipping in the US as well. That is absolutely cracking, isn't it? Now, there is still some of your ice cream vans available as well, if you're fancying the look of those ice cream vans. And let's give... Leo, a round of applause <laughs> for doing her box, bless her little, little, little heart. So make sure you subscribe to all our, our videos because believe you me, you are not going to want to miss tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be a cracker. Oh, yes, it is. I think, I think I've done you know, the, you know, they say the round things off. It's going to round things off. Absolutely um, amazing. They're just fan fantastic. So don't, don't forget, you can pay many diff different ways. Join us on all our social medias. Click subscribe. Hit that bell and all that business. Ding. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And is there anything else? That we need to cover. Um, I don't think have we have we done tag us in our links? Have we done that? We have. Good. Uh, we've done like and subscribe. We have. Um, yeah, I think that's it then. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you later. Happy crafting. Bye.